Let's look at our seventh chords. We have the dominant seven, which, uh, which I showed you a few open position ways to play it. Another way to play it is if you take your major chord from the sixth and you just lift up your pinky, keep everything barred with your first finger, and you now have a dominant seven chord. So I just went G7 to C7. Now if I want to play a dominant chord with the fifth string root, instead of having to go all the way up here, I can just jump right here. So just like our major, now we're going to take that root note and lower it down to that flat seven to make it a dominant. So we got three, five, bar, so you can get the third fret on the uh, G string as well, and then your pinky will come down on the fifth fret B string. So that is C7 in this case. So dominant from the sixth, dominant from the fifth. This is good when you're playing some blues, right? So that's our dominant seven chords. What if we looked at some major seven chords? Um, if we're looking at a major seven from the sixth string root, we're gonna have, let's, let's do it from G again. Third fret, low E, we're gonna skip the A string, so our first finger is gonna kinda block out that A string. Third finger comes down, hits the fourth fret on the D, pinky comes down, fourth fret on the G, second finger comes down, hits the third fret on the uh, B string. Is a G major 7 chord. So really the difference between a major G major and a G major 7 is the same triad G B D is is remains the same but we're gonna add an F sharp to that chord which is the natural 7 therefore creating a major 7 chord. So if we want to play a major 7 from the 6th string root here we go. So I just played G major 7, A major 7, B major 7. Now if we want to play that same chord from the 5th string root, in this case we're playing a B major 7 right here, we find B on the 5th string, which is the 2nd fret, and we play this shape, 2, 4, 3, 4. Alright, so my first finger is playing the 2nd fret, A string, 3rd finger is playing the 4th fret, D string, 2nd finger is playing the 3rd fret, G string and the fourth finger is playing the fourth fret on the uh, B string. You can also bar uh, with your first finger across the second fret uh, to include that high E. Pretty chord. So there I'm going a B major 7 to a C sharp major 7, back to B major 7. So major from the 6th, major 7 from the 6th, major 7 from the 5th. It's like a minor 7. Minor 7, we'll do in, uh, let's do it in A. So 5th fret, low, E string, A. I'm going to either play it with my 2nd finger, and then I'm going to skip the A string, and bar with my 3rd finger, the 5th fret on the D, G, and B strings. For a jazzier uh, song, I might do this, this shape. But if I'm doing more of a strumming or a reggae feel, then I'm going to bar all of the fifth fret, and I'm going to include the fifth of the chord, which in this case is E. So I'm going to put my third finger on the seventh fret, A string. I play all six strings in this, in this uh, scenario. So this is another way to play an A minor seven chord. You might recognize this and say, hey, that's a lot like the A minor chord, which would include our pinky down here on the 7th fret D string. But because we're not including that finger, this note is now being played on the 5th fret D string, which is the note G. And that is the flat 7 in the key of A, and therefore we got an A minor 7. Okay. 
Now, if we wanted to play the minor seven from the fifth string root, we jump up. If we were to play A again, we'd play it on the 12th fret. So we go 12 to 14. Then we're going to bar with our first finger on the 12th. So you're, you're covering the uh, G string there. So it's 12, 14, 12. And the second finger comes down and hits the 13th fret on the B string. If you want to include the high E on this, once again, you can. I'm going to move this down a whole step just so you recognize where this song, uh, where this chord is commonly used. Doobie Brothers. So that's a G minor seven chord. Uh, you might think that recognize, uh, you might recognize that towards your um, your minor chord from the fifth string root. It's the same thing except you're lifting up your pinky, and therefore we're getting that. In this case, that flat seven. It always sounds nice to hammer it on to give you another flavor to that chord. So. Minor seven from the sixth, minor seven from the fifth. Uh, last one we'll look at is a minor seven flat five chord. So let's do it from C. So eighth fret on the low E string, we're gonna take our second finger and then we're gonna skip a string and go to the eighth fret with our third finger on the D string, eighth fret with our fourth finger on the G string, and then our first finger is going to come down and hit this flat five, which is the uh, seventh fret on the B string. This chord is used commonly in jazz and uh, for turnaround chords. So if you want to modulate to a different key or to quick switch up the feel, that's the chord to do it. Sometimes it's a little awkward depending on how high on your neck you need to play this chord. So a good way to play uh, a C minor 7 flat 5 might be from the 5th string root. In this case we're playing our 3rd fret on the 5th string with our 1st finger. And then we're going to play our 3rd finger on the 4th fret D string, 2nd finger on the 3rd fret G string, and 4th finger on the 4th fret uh, B string. We're playing only the inside strings. So this is a minor seven flat five with a fifth string root. So let's do a quick review of everything we've covered in this lesson. Major bar chord from the sixth. Major bar chord from the fifth. Minor bar chord from the sixth. Minor bar chord from the fifth. Dominant seven chord from the sixth. Dominant seven chord from the fifth major seven chord from the sixth, major seven chord from the fifth, minor seven chord from the sixth, or minor seven chord from the fifth, or minor seven flat five from the sixth, minor seven flat five from the fifth. Hope you have some fun with these chords. Use them in your own uh, songwriting, and a uh, bunch of them are included in the set list that we have on Axe Battle. So good luck with them, and we'll see you next time.